Mm. Look at that. How's that look? Try a bite. Oh my, is that good. That meat is hot, juicy, tasty, flavorful, a slight, pretty good little spice to it. Hello everybody, welcome to another food video on homeandhungry.com where we show you how to save time, money, and energy getting yourself and your family and loved ones fed, okay? I'm your host, my name is Jack. Today we're making a very tasty dish. This is a crock pot cooking at its absolute finest. We call the dish tortas de barbacoa de res. And translated, this means we're gonna show you how to make some warm, juicy, delicious, slightly spicy barbecued beef sandwiches. These are the kind you get at your local Mexican restaurants, only better, because they're homemade. We're making them ourselves. The key here is, just between us, you cook this dish once, you've got enough to eat for a couple of days, right? Make one meal, and you and yours eat that meal, and then you got plenty of leftovers to make sandwiches for the next day. So that's what we're doing today. So you're gonna need a uh, crock pot cooker. You're gonna need uh, about two and a half pounds of beef. You're gonna need, uh, I picked up this morning some of these um, bonillos. Uh, it's a type of bonillo, it's, it's softer. It's, I, I kinda like the soft bread, but we don't use these until the meat's done. You're also gonna need uh, a couple tablespoons of apple cider vinegar. Gonna need a, a quarter cup of fresh water going to need uh, one medium-sized chopped onion, uh, yellow onion, white onion. I've got a yellow one here, and I actually chopped about an onion and a half because I like onion. Going to need a, a packet of uh, slow cooker mix for beef barbacoa. I mean, we're here to save time and money, right? Now, some people can do it from scratch, and that's excellent. Hats off to them. I love it. But what we're trying to do here is save you time, money, energy. So you can put your meals together as quickly as possible. This is going to be a family favorite for years to come. They're going to love it. I'm telling you. We got a can of uh, diced green chilies. And we've got another can of uh, chipotle in its adobo sauce, which is tasty, tasty, tasty. Now, everything you see here is part of the recipe from back of the package of uh, the beef barbacoa. However, I'm adding the jalapeno and the chipotle on my own, just for today, just to try it. I think it's gonna be excellent. But you do exactly how you wanna do it. I'm gonna add this just to see how things work out. So these are the ingredients, and what we're gonna do now is work on uh, preparing the meat. So let's get into that. I like making these kinds of dishes. It's a lot of fun. I, I enjoy it. It's kind of it's kind of calming and soothing, right? When you do it right. So that's why we do it. And we're not interested in taking it all off. We just want to get the biggest chunks. So this is looking better and better. That's not bad. I'm not really too interested in in this we'll look at it sideways and see how things are going again if you want to see good chefs look at the uh look at tv shows like hell's kitchen and i mean those people are expert we're over at your local fine dining establishment those are professional people me i'm just a hack i'm here just to show you what i do and how i work hard to try to save time, money, and energy while cooking delicious things. So we're going to cut this into smaller pieces and uh, get them in the pot and get the pot on. 
In the background, if you can hear it, that's a hummingbird. I've got a hummingbird feeder up here to your left. It's out of the frame, but the, the hummingbirds are definitely out. It's spring. They just had a baby. They got a little hummingbird. The, uh, there's, a, there's an older male and a larger female. She's larger than he is. And um, they had a baby over the winter. So it was really nice. And he's a little boy and he's coming too. Okay, so now we've cut the meat. The meat is prepared. Let's put all the meat into the crock pot. The onion. So we're going to put the onion in. Two tablespoons. Let's pour it over the top. We're going to put a quarter cup of water, fresh water, filtered. Now here come the green chilies. En su jugo, in their juice. Ooh, that's nice. Looking good, folks. And here come the chipotles. Nice red chilies. You see these come in here. Also in their sauce, the adobo sauce. And that's, that's it for now. Okay, and we're back. Did you uh, happen to catch the hummingbirds when they were coming in during the day? Uh, we've been uh, cooking this, slow cooking, six hours, and uh, everything smells beautiful, looks beautiful. We've had a taste, tastes beautiful. Uh, we're going to pop the lid, and then we're going to go ahead and these are buns are fresh out of the oven, 300-degree uh, oven for just two, three, four minutes to just to warm up the bread. Now we're going to cut into them. We've got enough bread to make... Uh, about five sandwiches, a couple for tonight and a couple for tomorrow, one or two, and you know, keep the rest for later in the week. Also, what we do here is we make kind of a canoe out of the bread so we can get more of the, the meat and the goodies in there. That meat has been slow cooking. Take a look at that. Slow, slow, slow cooking for a good six hours. You can see the adobo in there. You can see the onions. We're going to now add some pico de gallo guacamole. Picked this up at the store also this morning. And that's kind of a nice little treat. Just go ahead and smear that in there. How do you like that? How does that look? Looks pretty good, huh? So let's just fold that. We're going to cut this in half. See how we do on the cut. And now we're going to show the sandwich. Isn't that nice? Nice, warm, gooey, right? Serve it in a bowl if you like, right? Isn't that nice? Your, your family's going to love this. Your friends are going to love this. They're going to eat them so quick, you're not going to know what happened. Let's go ahead and try a bite. Excellent. Oh my God. Oh, something else. Obviously, got the, uh, the beef here. Slow cooked. Nice little spice to it. Obviously, you can, you can use, uh, you can make little burritos. You can make quesadilla. You can use this to make uh, corn tortilla tacos. You can do anything you want with this. You can probably serve it over rice or uh, noodles. So uh, variety is the spice of life. And uh, enjoy. Because this is a really good menu idea for sure. Okay, folks. So you've just seen us prepare tortas de barbacoa de res. It's a, a savory, mildly spicy barbecued beef. 
We've made a sandwich out of it with guacamole. You can do quesadillas, you can make burritos, you can make tacos. That's all for now. Until next time, this is Jack at homeandhungry.com, signing off. <music>